Hello everyone, I'm here with a, it's not a full tutorial, I'm just going to show how to do this stitch on here. It's a um, kind of mock cable, it's like a cross, crossover stitch but without use, having to use cable needles and with a little bit of lacy pattern in the centre of the, the stitch. It's fairly easy, there's only four rows to the... Um, the pattern and only two of them are actually making stitches for the pattern so I will start off with I'll blow this up right, I've done it um this is the back and I'm doing the left front now of this little cardigan and I've knit seven rows in one by one twisted rib and I'm sure everybody knows what twisted rib is now because it's all I do. It's um, knit into the back of every knit stitch. And we're doing seven, you start on the wrong side. This is the right side of the pattern, but the actual, you start on the wrong side. That's why you do an, an odd number for the, um, the rib. And the pattern is just knit one. Knit three, purl three, sorry, one, two, three. Get some wool out here. Got this twisted round the, the ball. So that was purl three, knit three. That's all we're doing across this row. We started off with um, knit one. And one, two, three, and three purl. Three knit. Three purl. And we're knitting the last two stitches. This would be different on each size, the stitches that comes at the um, the beginning and the end. But this is just for this size. This is a, a size 16 I'm doing. That's the first row. Now the second row is where you do this stitch for to make the um the cable. So it's I have it written down here. And I'm on to the left front. So we've done the first row, which was knit one, and then purl three, knit three, and repeat the stitches in brackets to the last five stitches, and we knit three, purl three, and knit two. Now this is the row we do the um, the twisting of the stitch. So we can start with purl two, purl three, and the next. We've done purl two in the next stitches we have three stitches here that's part of the the pattern and you put the needle into the third stitch and you take that stitch over the other two in front and drop it off so that you've taken it over and then you knit those two stitches then you purl the next three stitches And then you do the same again with this. Take the third stitch here over those two in front and then knit those two stitches. I'll oh, take the wool back. Purl three again. The third stitch over those first two stitches and then you knit those two stitches and then you purl three again and then we come to the last four stitches here and we're going to take that one stitch over those two in front, knit those two stitches, 
and we're going to purl that last single stitch and that is the row two which I have repeat the stitches as for row two up here where I had purl two this is um, slightly different further back but you pass Pass the third stitch on the left hand needle over the first two stitches and you knit those two stitches. That's what you do for that. Now the next row is row three is knit one. Now that last row you've done, you've lost one stitch on every one, two, three, four. You've lost four stitches on that row, so you're going to make them up on this row. So that's purl one. We've knit, we've knit one, there's purl one. Wrap the wool around the needle, like that. Purl the next stitch, and that's making up that stitch that we lost on the other row. And I'm going to knit three now. We're going to purl that next stitch, wrap the wool around the needle, purl the next stitch. Knit one, two, three knit stitches, purl one, wrap the wool around the needle, purl the next stitch, knit one, two, three. Purl one stitch, wrap the wool around the needle, purl one, and knit the last two stitches. And that makes that little hole in the, the centre of the, the pattern. And then the next row is going to purl two. Knit three, purl three, knit three, purl three, knit three. Purl three, that was two there, three, and knit one, two, three, and purl the last stitch. And that is the third row. No, that's, sorry, that's not, that's the fourth row. So that's how you do that stitch. Move that out the way to see better on the. So for anyone that wants to to do that, it's a simple stitch, very easy. So give a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll show you more sometime. So bye for now.